Come on. Who's all in the house? Huh? Who's all in the house? It's me. Developing details tonight involving a shootout that left nine officers hurt. And now for the first time, and you're looking at it, we're seeing the body camera video from the first officer who approached the house. This comes as police start reviewing the case to try to figure out how Phoenix PD wound up sustaining the biggest number of officer casualties in one single incident. Team 12's Mitch Carr joins us live from Phoenix Police Headquarters with a retired assistant police chief and what that person sees in the new video. Mitch. Mark and Caribe, eight of the nine officers that were hit Friday morning were hit when they thought the incident was winding down. Now, the video you're about to see is very difficult to watch, but it underscores the danger that police face in situations like this. If you have trouble handling gunfire, now is the time to look away. It's a hard job. If you have not worn that uniform and that badge, it's all in the house. and gone out on those calls, it's me. You really don't understand just how difficult and how dangerous that job can be. That's body cam video from the first officer to encounter Morris Richard Jones III Friday morning at West Phoenix. Retired assistant Phoenix Police Chief Andy Anderson says an officer hit speeds up the timeline in a barricade situation, as does the knowledge that a woman inside the house is hurt. First off, you want to get that officer help. Uh, and you know you have a victim inside that home also that is needing help, and you have to stabilize the scene. The, the first thing you want to do is lock that down. Phoenix police did that, and then came something no one expected, a man surrendering with an infant in his arms. That baby changes the dynamics of this entire situation. Let's go back to the first interaction with the suspect. Who's all in the house? It's me. The suspect says he's alone before opening fire and later a man surrenders. I think it's obvious that at the time the officers were under the belief that that, that was the suspect that they had in custody. Anderson believes that and the infant may have impacted the priorities of the officers advancing on the house. Normally what you would do is you would want to clear that home just to make sure that baby changed the whole thing. Anderson says after a thorough review, this may become a training scenario for future police recruits. The whole idea here is to figure out a way to make it safer the next time for officers that may encounter something similar to this. Uh, what did we miss? What could we have done differently? And Andy Anderson wanted to reiterate one important point. He said situations like this, though it may seem obvious, they're not scripted. This is not television. This is not Hollywood movies. All of these situations, they change on a day-to-day -day basis. Every one of them is different. There is not always flawless execution. There is not always a happy ending. The real world is just so much harder to control than television and movies. In downtown Phoenix, Mitch Carr, 12 News at 10.